Hi, it's Rosie from Cake Masters and today's video is using the Majestic Tiara Moulds from Marvellous Moulds. The first mould I'm going to show you is the Large Majestic Tiara Mould. There is another mould in the range which is smaller and perfect for going on cupcakes. This mould is particularly good for bigger cakes. So I'm just rolling out a big piece of pink gum paste, just checking the size to check to see whether it's big enough, just a little bit more. And now that's ready. I'm going to dust my mold with some cornstarch. Remember you dust it quite a lot and then you tap out the excess because you only need a very thin film of cornstarch like so. Now I'm going to place my gum paste on top of the mould and now I'm going to push down to secure it. Now this majestic tiara mould has quite a lot of detail so you really need to push down hard to ensure that all that lovely detail transfers across onto your gum paste. So now I am going to use my rolling pin to get rid of the excess gum paste. Again, the cutting blades on the moulds are so cool. You just get rid of any excess by cleanly cutting away. Now I'm just going to roll over the windows of the mould just to make sure that they too have cut out properly going to use my scribe tool to get rid of the excess paste in the windows and again these windows have been incorporated into the mould to give lovely detail to the tiara once it is popped out of the mould. Now I'm just going to use my fingers to go around the edges because again I want to have those really nice clean edges once the gum paste comes out. So I'm just using my fingers to go over the edges of the windows. And then I'll do the same for the outside edge of the mould. Right, I'm just going to use this lip of the mould to flex. I'm going to put my fingers underneath the mould and my thumbs on the lip to flex the mould. To really tease the gum paste out and you can see that it is ready to come out. I'm just going to flex it a little bit more. Right, that's ready. I'm going to turn it over lift up the mould and easily it comes out. Just using a dry brush to get rid of the excess cornstarch just so that you can see the beautiful impressions in the mould. There we are. Now to give my crown some extra sparkle I'm going to use this luster spray and I'm going to just give it a good shake and then just spray just a few bursts of luster spray onto my tiara. It will just give it that really sparkly finish that will look fantastic on top of a cake just turn it around to show you, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but you'll definitely be able to see it in the photo at the end. It has a really nice pearly finish. So it really is as simple as that. Um, I'm just going to show you now how strong the actual tiara is. With any other tiara you'd have to be really careful and really delicate, but as you can see I'm just positioning it into how I want it to dry. Just gonna, I can 
reposition, spread out, and that there's no worry of the tiara breaking at all. So there we have it. I'm just going to leave it to dry now. Next up is the Mini Majestic Tiara Mould. The great thing about these moulds is that they incorporate a cutting blade which helps you cut the gum paste out. So I have some pink gum paste which I'm just softening. Right, so that's nice and soft. I'm now going to dust my mould with some cornstarch. As you can see, I'm dusting it quite a lot here, but that doesn't matter because you're going to be tapping out the excess because you only need a very thin film of cornstarch in the moulds. Next, I'm going to roll out my gum paste. Tiaras have usually been quite difficult to make, especially once dried, usually resulting in breakages. The great thing about these moulds is that the gum paste stays contained within the mould and it's really quick to make the mould. The blades also incorporated into the mould help give really nice clean finishes. So I've placed the gum paste on top of the mould and I'm just pushing the gum paste into the detail of the mould. Just pushing down quite firmly. Using the palm of my hand. Really pushing down. Now I'm just rolling over the top. This is where the blades come into action and cut away the excess gum paste. Just rolling over the top because I want to make sure that the windows have cut properly. Right, now I'm going to use a scribe tool and I'm going to just take out the excess paste in the windows. Now these windows have been incorporated into the tiara mould to give a beautiful design. So I'm just carefully taking out all the little bits that aren't required. So what I'm going to do now is that there's an edge on the mould which is slightly raised and I'm going to push that down to ensure that I have really nice clean edges. So I'm just doing the window bits first, just making sure that I push them out to make sure when the fondant comes out the edges in the windows are perfect. I'm just going to go all the way around the mould now. Right, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to use the lip which is all the way around the mould, putting my fingers underneath the mould and my thumbs on the lip. I'm going to flex the mould to tease the gum paste out and you can see that in some places the gum paste is already lifting so it is ready to come out. So make sure you give it a really good flex because there are quite a few windows in this mould which give the tiara the lovely detail. just want to make sure that you have done this bit properly. Now that's ready to come out. Literally turn it upside down and it just falls out. There you have it, your beautiful tiara mould. Now I have something that I'm going to wrap my tiara round just so that it gets a little bit of shape. I'm just going to set it aside to dry now. So my pieces have dried now. I'm just showing you the mini majestic tiaras. They look absolutely fantastic. 
I've got three prepared domed cupcakes, which I'm just going to sit the tiaras on top of, and they look awesome on top of the cupcakes. Just going to position them to where I want, and they sit perfectly, and I'll glue them down a bit later. So I have covered a board and a cake. The board has a lovely sort of fabric effect. And now I'm just going to get my finishing piece to go on top of my cake. As you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Very strong, no worry of it breaking. And there we have it. Absolutely beautiful. So here is a showcase of the finished pieces. These are the mini majestic tiara moulds on the cupcakes, which look fantastic. Next we have the larger majestic tiara mould on top of a bigger round cake. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thanks!